Hey everyone, and thank you once again for joining me on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Susan Stutzel with me. Susan is passionate about feet. <laughs> Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Susan Stutzel with me. Susan is passionate about freeing professional women from self-sabotaging goals and helping them, helping them build a life of purpose and balance. As a mindset and productivity coach, she helps her clients ditch overwhelm by finding their voice through the process of rebuilding habits and expectations so they can feel successful both professionally and at home. Susan, welcome to the podcast. Thanks so much for having me, Michael. Appreciate you being on here. Let's dive right into question number one. Susan, why did you become a coach? I became a coach because I'm I'm super passionate about empowering other women. And I know the value of coaching. And so my I'm just excited to be able to empower other women through defining success for themselves and overcoming the overwhelm of trying to be all the things and do all of the things, but really hone in on their own confidence, find their own voice and be who they were created to be. Love it. I love it. I love it. That sounds great. Question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? I believe in a very holistic perspective to coaching and I don't have, you know, a three-step model to, you know, be perfect or, you know, 10 steps to a better you or or whatever. I think there's a lot of value in methodologies and I definitely use some in my coaching, but I believe in really looking at success from an overall life perspective. So bringing in not only success for business or your own business, if you're an entrepreneur, but also bringing in that life, you know, what does the balance look like between the relationship? that you have with family and friends in addition to just killing it in the business world as well. And so my coaching really looks at that holistic perspective and all of you for all of the hats that you wear. Nice. I love I love the idea of three steps to perfection, though it does seem a bit <laughs> a little out of reach. <laughs> right. Question number three, where do you find your clients? My clients really come through word of mouth referrals. I kind of hate networking because I believe in relationship building and everyone that I meet, I want to know how I can help them. And it's really about building the relationships because then you have that referral is just so much better of a client than someone who just, you know, kind of shows up from a social media response. Love it. And question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? For me, I think my biggest challenge is wanting to elicit change for a client or someone more than they really want it for themselves Mm -hmm. and seeing the potential in someone that they're not ready to grasp yet, or they're not, you know, ready to take the step to get there. That's, that's hard to watch because Mm -hmm. I do believe that everyone can truly love what they do and who they are. And when they're not ready for that or don't have the mindset yet, it's hard to watch them struggle through that. You can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves, can you? Right, absolutely. Question number five, if you had a do-over in your coaching business, what would that be? It would absolutely be not to compare. And I know the comparison game is such a trap that many of us fall into. And I hate to say that I did it, but just the beginning of, of my coaching practice, it was trying to kind of keep up with the other coaches or do all the things that they were doing and feeling like I had to have, you know, the perfect website to start and all the videos ready to throw out there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And so I think that was a trap that I fell into that I wish that I hadn't. At, at my company, we often say perfect is the enemy of done. <laughs> Absolutely. That is true. <laughs> and moving on to our bonus question, what is one book that you recommend all your clients clients read? Definitely Mindset by Carol Dweck. That one is such, such a great book and just life-changing for me. I use so much of, of her work in what I do and believe that everyone should really have a good grasp of a fixed mindset versus growth mindset. So that was that's... probably the easiest question you asked today. I love that one. <laughs> and that's like the <laughs> one, that's the one question that we don't send you beforehand. So that was, that was I know. <laughs> Put you I in won't lie, I was a little scared. That's fantastic. Susan, is there anything else that you would like to add or pitch or promote? And also, if you could please let us know where our listeners can connect with you online. Absolutely. You can connect with me on LinkedIn at S. Stutzel Coaching or Susan Stutzel. And my website, of course, is sstutzelcoaching.com. 
I'd love to have you reach out and download one of my free handouts, either time management for the busy professional woman or a workbook to create success on your own terms. That's such a great way to really dig in for yourself and find out if you really have a personal success plan. And if not, I'd love to connect and help you with that. Susan Stutzel, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Coffee with Coaches. Thanks for having me. It was great to talk to you. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Cheers.